The dowel inspection really impressed me. Seeing the, uh, the inspection of each dowel, looking for uh, blemishes, um, grain uh, characteristics. I think every like 15 minutes they stop and they, they calibrate and there's a lot of random auditing and sampling that goes on to make sure that the sticks are coming out the way they're supposed to. Here every dowel is categorized and inspected based on a long list of characteristics. Grain straightness, color, blemishes, any imperfections are all considered. I think the, the thing that was very clear there is that the two gentlemen that are in that area are probably the most important people in that manufacturing process because they're the ones that are really going to determine what wood is going to be uh, used for what sticks. This inspection results in one of four scenarios. A dowel meeting all the specifications is categorized as a Vic white stick. A dowel meeting the standards for all physical properties, but has cosmetic issues, becomes a Vic color stick that will get finished with an opaque color. A dowel that doesn't meet the Vic standard, but is still capable of making a playable drumstick, is designated for our economy quality drumstick line called Nova. Everything else goes to the boiler. I think the step that I really enjoyed the most, because probably because I was up close and personal at this particular station, was where the, uh, the two guys who are sort of examining the grains. They check the grain of the wood, they decide which is the tip end, which is the butt end, by looking at the grain. Every dowel is positioned so that the straightest grain ends up at the tip of the stick. I mean, that really surprised me, that, that, he, uh, that, that the person making those decisions, he's, he's deciding this is where the, the straightest grains are, so this is going to be where the tip's going to go. And you know, he puts them all in, in order, and then he decides, well, some of these are going to be colored sticks, and some of these are going to be clear sticks, depending on if there's some coloration in the wood itself. I guess really the, almost the, the learned craftsmanship that these guys demonstrate is, was really something that I did not expect to see whatsoever. And you can tell they take great care in that process. I don't like the idea that people work for me. I like to share the thoughts that we work with me, work together. There's something about that spirit that's more my natural instinct. The whole process of making a Vic Firth drumstick is so elaborate, and the people behind these drumsticks are amazing engineers, people that really love wood, think wood, 24 hours a day. I respect every job that every person does whatever level they may be working at and whatever level they may be doing, if they do it right and if they show excitement and pleasure out of accomplishment, these are the traits that I look for in people. You know, a lot of us drummers, sometimes we have no idea the hard work and effort that goes into making a pair of drumsticks. And I can tell you, Big Firth has the best people in the industry.